of joy. I was initially diagnosed with early stage hormone positive HER2 negative breast cancer when I was 25, and that was 12 years ago. I was knee deep in my corporate career, and I had just started part-time law school. My boyfriend at the time, now husband, is actually the one who found the lump, and I was super embarrassed for not noticing it myself. After the shock of my diagnosis, I had genetic testing done and found out that I have the BRCA2 gene mutation for my father's side, which increased my risk of developing breast cancer. My doctors though, had a clear plan to get rid of the cancer. So after surgery and chemo, I was thought I was cured until about four and a half years later, I was about to turn 30 after one of my annual scans, doctors found an early stage reoccurrence. Just as I was finishing law school and before my five year cancer free anniversary. I started that somewhat familiar treatment journey all over again, this time with chemo and radiation, after which I was cured again. Then two years ago, at 36, I was blindsided by a metastatic breast cancer diagnosis. I had a persistent cough that was misdiagnosed as bronchitis and adult onset asthma. Um, and I mistakenly thought any reoccurrence would be caught with my annual scans like my first reoccurrence was. Needless to say, when I was diagnosed with NBC, even after being a 10 year cancer survivor, I felt like my journey was starting all over again. Nothing about my NBC diagnosis is familiar to my early stage diagnosis. NBC is a roller coaster of diagnostic scans and treatment changes and managing side effects of those treatment changes and hopes of getting to NED or no evidence of disease. And really managing this metastatic disease as a chronic illness. Even though my initial, initial metastatic breast cancer diagnosis was hormone positive, HER2 negative, earlier this year, they also found triple negative cells, which triggered yet another treatment change. And overall, I'm learning and growing and adapting every day to this disease. And I'm really passionate about how to share my own experiences and learnings with others and highlighting extreme disparities to care within my community and highlighting the need for continued research for new treatments to improve the lives of people living with metastatic breast cancer. But above all, I want to continue to empower women to advocate for themselves to get the quality of care that they deserve so that we can live our best lives for as long as we can. Thank you.